Uh, I would say on balance, we have had an extremely good year. All right, all right, okay. We've got a winning season. Now, what do you do when you're ahead in the game? Leo, what do you do? Leo, I don't know what you want. I'll tell you what you do. You don't make mistakes. That's what you do. You don't make mistakes. You don't gamble unnecessarily. You got to protect your lead. You don't go passing from deep in your own end zone. You protect your players. You make sure that nobody gets hurt. You got to use these guys in the next game. And this is not just one game. We won this game, didn't we? We got to stay in shape for the rest of the game. That's the responsible thing to do. All right? Look, it's like when everybody was supposed to stop eating grapes. Well, some guys did, but I didn't because I didn't know anything about it and I like grapes. Well, a lot of guys like tuna. They're just going to keep eating it anyway. But I was thinking, what if we had a good guy tuna company that was on the porpoise team? A lot of these guys would buy that so the kids wouldn't get mad at them. Right? right. Ladies and I don't think they're taking into account the expense. Well, yeah, yeah, but we don't care how much it costs, do we? We just care how much it makes. And if it costs too much, we charge a penny more. We make it part of the game plan. Would you pay a penny to save a fish who thinks? Oh, wait a yeah, That's and we handle all the lawsuits that way. Let the other team build the power plants in all the wrong places. Let the other quarterback throw a girl out so the newspapers get a hold of it and the stockholders don't like it. We don't want any of that. Let's be the team that makes the rules. Let us be the team that plays fair, gets the best contract. Let's be the popular players. We're just going to have to forget about all these nuclear power plants until we find out if they're safe. And that, and that refinery in Pagelsham, we're just going to have to relocate it. Sure, it'll cost us $35 million, but we don't care because we're we're gonna come out ahead in the long run. And whatever that stuff is we're making those containers out of, that plastic, we're gonna have to stop till we find out what it is. We're not in here for just one game, are we, fellas? We're in here to go all the way. Now let's get to the Super Bowl, guys. And when we get there, let's already have won, okay? <laughs> How you doing? Hi, thank you. Very well. Mm -hmm. just what is happening? And give the Rams home field advantage on through the playoffs and the Super Bowl. Remember, this year's Super Bowl is set for the Coliseum. If he weren't going to be dead soon, he would need years of psychiatric help. Let's do it tonight. Looking ahead, the Rams will probably face Dallas in the opening round of the playoffs. And if they win, they'll Mr. Pendleton. Win the Washington. Hey, am I glad to see you. Did you guys line up any bodies for me yet? We haven't got a lot of time, you know. we got to go fast. If... Huh. I, 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 the, uh, uh, hi, I, I'm just... What'd you come up with? We have a number of very interesting probabilities now, Joe. Look, I kept my word to Betty Logan, like I said. Now, did you guys find me a body that's in good shape? I got to see some bodies. I mean, I, I want to see something with good legs, <clears throat> good arms, somebody who can roll out to the right well. Look, we got the Super Bowl coming up. Now, you guys must have checked out a lot of bodies by now. We got to... Who is it? It's Sisk, sir. Come in, Sisk. Uh, sorry to disturb you, Mr. Farnsworth, but Miss Betty Logan is downstairs uh, and asks if she might have a moment of your time. Betty... Uh, uh, tell her I'll be right down. Oh, very good, son. Do you, uh, do you wish the door closed, sir? Uh, closed is fine. Thank you. You guys do the best you can do, will you? But I gotta find out what she wants. Um, Mr. Farnsworth, I, I don't know what you must think of me after my behavior at our first meeting, but I, I, I feel I must tell you what an extraordinary thing it is you did today. Uh, I mean, really, a quite extraordinary thing. You, you don't have to, to say it. No. Uh, because I, 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 
You, you know what? Uh, you, you look a little pale. You want something to eat? I, I, well, I'll be right back. Uh, Bentley! Everett! Uh, Miss Logan's gonna have dinner with us, so put on another plate, will you? Whip up a liver and wave shake. Uh, where are you going? Oh, I thought... Oh, you thought I meant to go out and eat, huh? Okay, all right. Uh, sis, we're gonna go out. Uh, come on, come on. Bendick, Everett, we're gonna go out and eat. That's a very good idea. I, I uh, Which hat would you put us? Oh, uh, uh, look, I, I don't wanna wear a hat. I'm sick of hats. Don't show me any more hats, understand? Yes, sir. No more hats.